This video begins with us uh, being clear for the visual approach to runway 28 right at the Montgomery Field Airport. I'm making the turn just now. You'll be able to see in just a second where we're at as we start this turn. Quick note on energy state before we continue with the video. I've paused it. I want to show that we're at 135 knots, 4,000 feet, 20 inches of manifold pressure, and the gear is currently up. All of those things are about to change, but this is where we're starting from. So as we were getting vectored around for this visual approach, uh, we were being held up high for traffic departing off of Gillespie Field pretty close to us to the, uh, the east here. So the first thing that I did is I actually reduced power from about 20 inches down to about 18 inches. Then I started looking at it and I said, alright, 18 is not going to be enough. We're going to start coming back to 15 inches here in just a moment. And there it goes. So at this point I'm seeing that I'm already pretty high. I'm trying to get down. I know I've been kind of slam dunked. You can see my speed's increased from about 135 now to about 150 and it's continuing to increase. Even with that speed increase coming out of this altitude, I'm only getting about 800 feet per minute descending. I just took the handoff to Montgomery Tower at this point from SoCal Approach. Uh, I'm looking now and seeing, okay, I'm still pretty high. This isn't really quite working. Uh, we're getting to the point where we might need to actually trade some airspeed for altitude, drag the airplane up, throw some gear out, and use that to increase our descent rate. You can see we're doing about 900 feet per minute, about 150, 155-ish knots right now, coming through 2,000. 900 feet on the way down. The airport's just out that right side window. You can see the open area with the brown grass. That's actually the landing field. So we're getting pretty close at this point. Right about here I decide, all right, yep, I need to drag it up. All right, so instead of continuing that descent at 1,000 feet per minute, I pulled the nose up. I haven't changed the power. I'm waiting until I'm below 150 knots, and then I'm going to throw the gear. All right, gears down, the motor's uh, completed its cycle. We can continue to push that nose down again. You can see I'm at 140 knots. I'm going to let it build up to about 150 again. But the difference now is that with the gear down, I can get more than 1,500 feet per minute in a comfortable descent. And that's a sustained descent rate. Uh, it's not just a momentary descent rate because of the, the initial pitch over. But 1,500 or better is very reasonable at this speed. As I'm turning final now and kind of finalizing my lining up with the runway coming through pattern altitude, you can see I'm about 125 knots, starting to bring the nose up a little bit to normalize that glide path, get back to a three degree glide angle, and kind of set up for a normal landing. I've already got power at landing power, but with the flaps up and the gear down, it's going to give me enough speed and total energy remaining to make the runway. So I'm just delaying adding the flaps until right about now flaps are going to start to go in. You can see the pitch down as that happens. And there's a trim addition that needs to be made here in order to stabilize the approach. At this point, I've decided that, okay, I have the display threshold made at the very least if the engine quits, but with my current power setting and my current configuration, I can make the threshold. And that'll prove true. It'll be a nice, easy uh, approach for the rest of the way in here. One thing I want to point out as we cross the threshold here is the reduction in prop RPM. It's partially due to a reduction in throttle, but at the same time, it's mostly because of the airspeed decaying. On target, on center line, no side loading. That's exactly what we're looking for. And now at this point, I'm getting on the brakes pretty hard. I want to make this taxiway off to my left. So hard, in fact, here comes the seat. Thanks for joining me on this flight into Montgomery today. Hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.